Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about actions class and actions class methods. Right now, see here. So, actions is a predefined class which is from org.openqa.selenium.interactions package. Now, by using actions class, we can perform actions like uh, if you want, we can perform multiple actions at same time. And uh, by using actions class, we can perform click operations, double click operations, and right click operations. And if you want, even we can perform drag and drop operation that is draggable and droppable operations. And we can perform mouse over actions. Even we can perform send keys actions as well. And uh, by using this actions class, even we can perform key down, key up operations as well. That is, by using this actions class, we can perform keyboard and mouse related operations as well. You know, internally, how this uh, actions class is implemented means um, this actions class internally is having three constructors just see here so how it will be there i am writing here the pseudo code now public actions web driver driver and then it is having other two constructors total this actions class is having three constructors now here it is having keyboard keyboard here it is having mouse now this other here. Now this actions class is having three constructors. One is uh, actions with web driver parameter. One more is uh, actions constructor with uh, keyboard and uh, mouse. And one more constructor with uh, only mouse. You know by default every time maximum cases we create object and we execute the constructor of this one. Right. Why you know basically this is the default constructor uses the default keyboard comma mouse implemented by the driver and uh, keyboard interface and mouse interface implementations are there as a part of remote web driver you know we don't specially create action constructors for this objects that is uh, if you want to use keyboard related things on mouse related then we can create object in this way if you want only mouse related we can create object in this way but in this term um, already by default the implementations are available for this keyboard and mouse right now the second constructor second constructor this constructor should be used only when the keyboard or more extended to provide and uh, if you want to perform keyboard mouse operations uh, then use this uh, constructor this is very rarely used constructor because these by default these implementations are available as a part of this driver now this third one so third one actions with the mouse if you want to use this um, you know only used by the touch actions class that is um, touch actions is a class and by using this we can perform operations like a single tap double tap long press scroll and flick operations etc these uh, touch actions class is very useful in apm and mobile automation right in mobiles we do single tap double tap and long press we do flip operation right so those we can use it so when you want to work with the touch actions class then create the constructor and use this constructor to perform touch actions operations right so these are the three constructors these are the three constructors we have in actions class and uh, let's discuss um, the methods present in actions class one by one now see here actions class methods uh, number one public Suppose if you want to perform click operation, so we are having one method called click with a overloaded method, right? So with first one, it is going to by default click on the focused element. No, no, if you want to specify on particular element, if you want to perform click, we are having click with the element method. It is an overloaded method, right? Next one, if you want to perform double click operations, we have a method called double click we have one method called double 
click and uh, by default it clicks on the focused one if you want to specify if you want to click on the specific element uh, then it is having overloaded method called now it is going to take a web element as an argument so by specifying web element we can click on particular web element on that we can perform double click now even if you want we can perform send keys actions as well by using this actions class send keys method so keys keys to enter you know keys is a enums class this keys is a enums class keys is an enums class in that enum class we have all keyboard operations like f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 and all those things enter shift backspace and all those things are there control caps lock so in the coming sessions we'll talk what is an keys and what are the diff data types are there in that keys and what are the use of that keys all those things we'll talk next one and uh, it is having one more method called if you want to perform mouse over actions so this class is having one method called move to element method so by using this move to element method we can perform mouse over actions in selenium suppose i want to perform click and hold operations suppose if you want to perform click and hold operations we are having a method called click and hold it's always ask you web element 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 right suppose if you want to perform drag and drop operations right so we are having methods like uh, drag and drop and drag and drop by right? now public actions drag and drop so it is having like a web element element and one more method we are having to perform dropable operations public actions drag and drop by so it's always ask you two elements sorry one web element with the coordinates from which coordinates in the element into x offset comma into y offset right so and even we are having key up key down methods as well key up public actions key up and key down operations methods as well and if you want to perform right click operations we are having a method called context click context click context click context click right so like uh, all these are the all methods by using these methods uh, we can perform actions like uh, click actions right double click operations even you can perform send keys even if you want to perform mouse over action we are having a method called move to element method if you want you can perform click and hold operations if you want you can perform drag and droppable operations even we can perform key up key down operations even if you want to perform right click operations this uh, actions class is having a method called context click method okay and uh, this actions class is also having a method called public action build public action build so whenever you know so whenever we call build method so as we know that by using actions class we can perform multiple actions simultaneously so whenever we call this build method it to makes uh, all methods as a single action that is uh, generates a composite action containing all actions so far and ready to be performed right so compulsory we must and should call build method to perform the actions uh, using actions class right now see here if we don't call build right so build is optional and one more method we are having public 
void perform method so whenever we call perform method internally build method will be called and then action is going to be performed so how it is internally implemented this build method means uh, perform method means build dot perform so calling build is optional so if you call perform method automatically this perform method will call build and then perform that is um, compulsory we must and should call either perform method or build with perform method because what is a build method they will ask you whenever we are using the actions class methods compulsory we should call build dot perform and if you want the uh, you can not call build that is build is optional but compulsory you must and should call perform method because internally perform method also is whenever we call perform method internally it is calling what build dot perform then why we should call build method means um, it gathers it generates a composite action containing an action so far and ready to perform that means uh, build makes uh, all actions into a single action right that's why compulsory we should call build method right in the coming examples we'll see more clarity what is a build and what is perform thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much